Ding dong, the monster is dead. Hi everyone, my name is Sandra Matos and you are watching I.O. Cleveland kidnapper and rapist Ariel Castro was found hanging in his cell on Tuesday night. This was the Cleveland man that had three women captive in his own home for over a decade. Between 2002 and 2004, Ariel kidnapped Amanda Berry, Michelle Knight, and Gina DeSeuss. Castro was arrested on May 6th when one of the women he had captive actually made her way to the front door and was able to grab a piece of the door and break through the door, calling on one of the neighbors that actually ran over to her and was able to help her come out through the front where the other two girls were actually afraid to come out because of Castro. Chilling details soon came out after the arrest. The girls told investigators that they were bound with chains, deprived of food and bathroom facilities, and one of the girls was forced to miscarry. He pleaded guilty to 937 counts of kidnapping and rape in exchange for the death penalty being taken away. Interesting fact, just last month during an interview, it was reported that he showed clear signs of sociopathic disorder, clearly fitting the profile of a predator. And it was during this time that they actually wanted to interview him further and do more psychological tests in hopes that it would provide clues and insights on predators just like him. In a rambling statement, Castro said that it was a sickness. He wasn't a monster, but he was sick that he had a pornography addiction. He was definitely sick all right, and he was put in isolation for his own protection. Castro was being checked every 30 minutes, but he wasn't on suicide watch. They did try to resuscitate him when he was found hanging in a cell, but it was reported that about an hour later, he died at the hospital. He was pronounced dead at the Ohio State University Rexner Medical Center. He was 53 years old. The Ohio State Police are investigating this death. Do you feel bad? I don't feel bad. Leave your comments down below.